What's up, everybody? Poker Pastor here with a video about a brand new resource I've put together. Uh, for all of you who are getting into Twitch, maybe you've been in Twitch for a little while, you want a nicer, cleaner overlay, maybe you're just starting out. Uh, I wanted to put a Streamlabs OBS package together that would be easy to customize, would look clean, and let all of you poker streamers get out to a nice start on your Twitch stream journey. Please, if you get anything out of this, hit the subscribe button below for notifications on future videos and resources we put out. Also, hit that like button. It will help us get the word out about this resource and get more people into Twitch, which will also make all of our streams more successful as well. This uh, package will work in OBS Studio if you download the images file down in the description and set up your own overlays. However, I have geared this towards Streamlabs OBS because it's just an easier install and setup. Uh, you can hit the Streamlabs OBS link down below to download the overlay file. That's the only file you'll need to do what we're going to do here today. So once you've downloaded that file, you're going to go to Settings scene collections import overlay file you're going to find the overlay you're going to hit open and it's going to take a minute because it's going to create all of the scenes and elements that's going to go in Streamlabs. and once it's done setting this up you're going to have an overlay in here now there's a lot that's going to happen and depending on how your Streamlabs is set up this actually may look a little different for each of you, but that's okay. I'm going to walk you through all the settings and how to get this uh, tied in just right so that depending on what, no matter what you end up seeing here, you can get it exactly looking how you want. Let's start with color scheme. Uh, in the table background setup, you'll notice that there are actually a whole bunch of color options that are available here. And what I recommend is just turning them all off by hitting this little eyeball here so that none of them are visible. And then just go through one by one and click and see which color you might want to use. Um, there are several options here to choose from. Um, I'm just gonna use gray and be boring now uh, for this present setup here. Once you've got this background set up, you'll notice that it shows up in the table setup screen and it shows up in all the table screens. This is the only place you have to set your color. And this entire setup has been set so that you only have to edit things in one place to keep things efficient because it's really a pain if you change your social media and you have to go through every scene and change your social media. So all of the editing we're going to be doing outside of setting up your table screens is going to be in these two screens. So once this is set up, you got the color you want, you're done. Well, we're going to come into the table screen setup. And let's just go uh, top to bottom here. Um, right here at the top, you have your name here. This is your text logo. Now, if you have a color logo that you've already had done and you want to put it here in place, you could obviously just hit the eyeball next to the text logo, make it go away, put your own logo in and be done. Some people, though, aren't going to have a logo. So you're going to come in here to text logo. Um, you'll have a whole variety of fonts to choose from. I just chose Franklin Gothic Heavy because everybody has it. It's clean. It certainly looks fine. Uh, but if you wanted to use a different font here, you could. And we're just going to put Poker Pastor in here. Um, some of you might want to use all uppercase. You can do that. You can do the text transform. You can also just type it all in uppercase uh, if you want. And then, of course, you have a color you can choose from. So, like, if I wanted to use my color and be blue, um, I could pick one of the blues here that kind of look good. Um, I also right now currently have an outline around it just to help it stand out a little bit on that gray background. Um, again, you could get rid of the outline if you wanted and have it without. You could do it with width. You could change the color of the outline. Um, if you guys have been in Streamlabs for a little bit, you know you, you kind of have an idea for how all these things work. And you guys can kind of look into customizing this how you want. Once you've got your title in there, now we've got all of our social media icons um, obviously, again, if you wanted to pull these out and put your own icons in here, or maybe you just want to choose this and switch the order, you guys can all set this up how you want. But we just set it up with three default icons and text message or areas here, like little text areas. So like social icon one and social text one lineup, social icon two and social text two lineup and so on. So, you know, if you just started with these three and these three are fine, you could come in here and you could change this to your Twitter name change text two to your Instagram name and obviously most people aren't going to be able to put a discord link in so what a lot of people will do is they will put exclamation discord 
And then you just create a command in your stream for exclamation discord and people know, oh, I type in exclamation discord and get there. Let's say you didn't have a discord. Again, just click the eyeball next to these and just have two social media icons and then you're good to go. Um, I do have a section here for music. Some people won't want to display music. And so, again, you can come down here to the music icon and just turn this off. Uh, there, unfortunately, there isn't a quick and easy way that I know of to hook this into Streamlabs OBS right now. Um, a lot of people will download uh, Muxy Ticker to interact with Spotify to kind of put the list up there. And I know there's some other widgets you can use. So, again, this is optional, but we did include this option in case people wanted to use it. Continuing on down, the next thing we're going to need is a webcam. Now, I've got a webcam in here. It most likely is not going to show up when you first come in. You're going to have to go into webcam and you're going to have to choose your device and choose your resolution in order to get it to show up correctly. Um, so we're going to just choose 1920 by 1080 um, because it's kind of the same width and height as the camera box. And you'll see it still doesn't show up. Okay, sometimes when you get the camera for set up, unfortunately, due to some bugs in Streamlabs OBS, you may still not be able to find the camera as we do here, which is actually a good thing for this video because I can just show you. Just go ahead, and if this happens, don't worry. Just delete the webcam and go ahead and go to Add Video Capture Device. We're just going to re-add the, the webcam in here. And again, you'll have to find whatever resolution. All the resolutions will be a little different depending on the camera. So there we are. Now we are on the camera. I'm going to shrink this down to about the size of the webcam. And then it's very important that you take this video capture device and you put it all the way at the bottom because we actually want this to be behind the overlay. That black box there and the black box you see here for the table, is just, it's not really black. It's empty. And so by putting it behind, you can see here we perfectly fit in the border here versus trying to get everything sized perfectly. This is just an easier way to do it. So now we've got our camera in place. Uh, let's continue moving down. Included in here right now, we have got this cool little ACR promo. I'm a part of ACR Stormers. Uh, I know some of the people that I'm making this for are going to be a part of ACR Stormers. And so this is a cool little promo graphic we put in. So you could put a command in ACR if you're an ACR affiliate and kind of promote that. But let's just say you're not an ACR affiliate or maybe you wanted to put uh, live here or your viewer count here. You can just come in here to ACR promo, hit the eyeball, and now you've got this space. You can add whatever widgets you like underneath there. Going below there, we have the chat box. Now, again, because my account's already hooked up to Streamlabs, I've already got this set up. Size is perfect. Everything's in here. Um, but you guys are free to come in here. You guys can change all of the specific chat settings, fonts, uh, chatter, all of that. Everything is in here for you guys to customize, but it's already perfectly in place for you. Um, and one recommendation I'll make too, uh, as you guys get these things set up, you probably want to hit these little lock buttons. Otherwise, we're all notorious for accidentally dragging the wrong thing in Streamlabs and then everything gets messed up and you get really frustrated. Also, it's highly recommended once you're done, just like you imported, go to the same place, settings, scene collections, export and export your work so that if you do make a mistake, you have a backup in place and, and you don't mess anything up. Uh, once your chat is set, at the bottom, we have four areas for latest follow, latest sub, latest donation, and latest cheer. Now, we have icons in place here, follow icon, sub icon, donation icon, bits icon. If you want to use your own icons, again, you can eyeball these out and add your own in. You could also even go ahead and just come in and change the image here and get it set to how you have it situated. We currently have latest follow, latest sub, latest donor, and latest cheer. And this is why we're using Streamlabs OBS because there's actually a widget for it that makes this really easy. And again, each of these are customizable. And as long as you've got your Streamlabs logged into your Twitch account, you're going to be good to go. If for some reason you don't have a Streamlabs account yet, make sure you go to streamlabs.com. You can sign up. You'll probably have though because you needed to do that to download the software anyway. And you get this set up. So... Once you got all this looking exactly how you want, now we just have to set up the table screens. And so all we're going to do is we're going to come into like table one 
and we're going to try and make the table look good in this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up a tournament table that's running right now on ACR that I'm not playing in. And once I get that up here, we're going to come in and we're going to add a display capture. Okay, so we're going to go display capture, add, uh, you can call this whatever you want. And we're just going to go to the scene that has the poker table in it. There it is. And so what you're going to do is you're going to hold the alt key, which allows you to crop. And we're going to crop this down to just around the table. Same thing here, alt key up crop this up until just around the table and now if we click off of it it looks pretty close to being just the table and nothing else it's all we really want uh, then we're gonna drag the table in. now it's the same deal that we're doing here with the table that we did with the camera you want to pull this display capture underneath the scene so that it's not over the top of the scene and all the borders will line up perfectly once we've done that I usually go ahead and lock the table screen so I don't accidentally drag it. Click on the display capture and just enlarge this until you get to the perfect size. Now, depending on what sites you play on and how you have your tables tiled and set up, this is going to fit some different ways. As you can see here, um, I've got it all the way full and there's still some room on the right. There's a couple things you can do. One, you can just decide you don't really need to show all the bottom and just can oops. Yeah, continue grabbing this. It'd be better from the corner. Continue grabbing this until it fills the whole space. This really doesn't look that bad. Um, we lose a little bit of the bottom, but honestly, this looks pretty clean and, and organized. Another thing you can do is maybe you absolutely want the bottom. Maybe there's some information. Maybe you don't want the buttons cutting off. You can come over here, and instead of hitting the Alt key, you can hit the Shift key. And you can drag this out and just stretch the perspective a little bit. So we're making it a little bit wider than it is in real life. But as you guys can again see, it's really not warped that bad. And this looks pretty clean. And so you can just get this tweaked until it's exactly how you want it to look. And that's not bad, right? And so for table two, you would go in and do the exact same thing on the second table, table three on the third table, table four on the fourth table. And then if you had a table five and six, you could literally just duplicate this and set this up as table five and do the same thing. Come in here, add the browser source. Um, for all tables, if you had all four of your tables, you would basically add the browser, or, sorry, not the browser source, the display capture in, and you would just crop it to around all the tables and fit it in. Um, the last but not least thing that we haven't talked about back here is our alert box. Now, this is the box that you're going to want on the very top of this table screen setup. Don't add this to your actual tables, right? And again, it's tied into Streamlabs. All of the information and configuration is in here for you to set. And as long as you have this on the top, it's going to show up over your tables and it's going to show up properly on the screen. Uh, if you wanted this over your chat, you could drag it over there. You could resize it. You have complete control over this. Say you're a Biddy Cup person. You want to have a Biddy Cup. There's no Biddy Cup in here right now because some people have it, some people don't. All you'd have to do is add it the way you would normally add it. But again, add it to this table screen and put it on top. Please do not go add a Biddy Cup to all the scenes here. The only thing you want in these table scenes is your actual browser source. So that's it for this setup. It's simple. It's clean. It's going to give you a nice professional look. It's not the fanciest, most epic overlay in the world. But listen, having a clean, non-distracting overlay can go a long ways towards customer retention and building your brand and getting people connected. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or you can hit me up on Twitter at Team Poker Pastor. I'm super excited to see so many of you guys coming into the Twitch streets, so many of you guys being a part of the stream journey and dream. I wish you the best of luck. It is hard. It is a challenge. Uh, be committed. Be dedicated. Push yourself. Uh, but those of you that really put the work into it and really push will find a way to find success and fun in this industry that we are all continuing to create and uh, pioneer. So that's it for me. Thanks, everybody. We will talk soon.